Giuseppe Tavella here, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be sharing what I think about uh, finding your own motivation when learning foreign languages. Now, I've seen many uh, people sh uh, saying that you need, to, uh, you need to know your why. You need to know your why, but I've found personal, personal experience that I don't need to know the why. I don't need to have the why figured out from the very beginning. I can figure out my why uh, and as, I, as I'm going. Yeah? So what I found is that uh, um, uh, having learned language, of course, and being a, sort of a polygot, um, I, I don't, I've never really sat down and go, okay, now this is my, well, this is my exact uh, say mission statement, like this is my why. It's one phrase, it's very straight to the point, it's very precise, very, you know, and kind of uh, compact, uh, statement you tell in your head you say in your head that it's supposed to be like your why but i found this pressure to find your why this kind of having to compress it into one logical concise statement i found that to not work with me and i'm the, I'm the type of person i found i've discovered that enjoys to start i just start because i like it because i enjoy it. i don't know why i just because i just enjoy it and and as I as I keep going, and I just find more reasons why. J during the pro, like as I do it, as I'm in the language, as I explore the cultures, I find out I found I find out why. So it's more much more explorative, much more playful, much more as I'm going. Okay, um, so uh, when do we do because. The, 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 the belief is the belief is if I know why why I can withstand challenges I can whenever I make say there are mistakes there are going to be challenges I can withstand them and I can overcome them so the stronger is the why from the very beginning from the very start and the more I can withstand the challenges this is the belief but let me ask you this. like why not doing a fun why not have fun and when there is a, when a challenge shows up this challenge like for example um learning greek okay and then it's like oh shit nah, it's not that that easy as I, as I thought it would be so there's a challenge right okay so this challenge helps you to shape the why okay now i'm learning greek because i enjoy it. so every time there's a challenge it's building up on the why okay so and you enjoy it more. So um, so this is what I found works for me. Uh, um, so yeah, this is this is my my two cents. Um, so number one, I don't need to have it figured out from the beginning. This kind of almost pressure and this kind of must rule. Like you must figure out. You must know why. You must know exactly. You must know exactly why you're learning. You know exactly why. You know exactly why you like the language. You know exactly why you like the culture. I mean, what do I know if I'm just starting? I'm just exploring it, exploring and being able, being able for me to form the why, uh, means that I've explored enough this culture, this language. But how can I do that if I don't even allow myself to do it? Because I need to know why before, yeah. So, um, so this is what I found out, and it works for me, and it just makes the the, lear the, the learning so much more playful, so much more joyful, and yet still make a lot, a lot of progress so this is what i found out uh, yeah uh, let me know what you think in the comments below for example um uh, do you always have this pressure of, oh, I, need, I need to know exactly why and you know why uh, they have this kind of most um, enterprise statements of we do this because this kind of marketing is whatever mission statements of why um do you also find it to be the case that it, it, it's not helpful it's actually counterproductive for you and it puts a pressure that you, it's, it's just it's unnecessary and uh, you prefer more of a just let me know what you think in the comments below about about this topic um thank you for for watching the video here and uh, see you next one